It's been a while since I last did a Docker tutorial and it's about four months ago I created a tutorial on how to do Docker with WordPress, Nginx, and Node at the same time and I did it in a container that's running on a digital ocean droplet. So I couldn't really install Docker on the Mac and it was kind of awkward but I'm happy to say that after a year, almost a year, Docker has released many tools that will allow you to run Docker on a Mac OS X or a Windows machine. So today I'm going to show you a few ways where you can run Docker within your Mac. So let's, there are two ways mainly right now you can run Docker on your computer. One is with Docker Toolbox. Docker Toolbox is a solution where they package a bunch of tools together and you can run Docker within your computer via the magic of VM. And the other one, which recently came out, it's native implementation of Docker for Mac. So this one requires a slightly more powerful computer and you can run Docker on your Mac natively without any VM. So I'm gonna show you both ways in this video of how to do that. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is go to the Docker Toolbox website and you can download it for Windows or Mac. In this case I'm just gonna download it for Mac. So once you have it downloaded you just double click on it to open it. And this will just uh, come up with a installation screen where you just follow the instructions. Um, so just click next and then install. Since I already have it installed, I'm just going to skip all that. Um, once you install everything, you're going to notice uh, in your quick launch toolbar, if you type in docker, you'll see that docker quick start terminal shows up. So you can use this to quickly open up a terminal and it will contain docker in it. So give it a second for it to start. It's loading out a VM in the background and then linking your local terminal into the VM. So there you go, now you have Docker. So it tells you a default machine IP. This is the IP of the virtual machine that Docker is running in the background. And now you should have Docker uh, available. So you can do Docker and you can see you, it works. You know, you can just start typing Docker, and it actually comes with a thing called Docker Compose, which is a, it makes Docker a lot easier if you want to run several services together and have them link to each other. So it's really good. You uh, there's also a, a program called Docker Machine installed. You can use it to, you know, let's say if I pass IP, it'll show me the IP of the VM. So I'll do more detailed video in the future to go over what these means. So this video I'm just going to install these and then see how quickly and easy it is to have Docker running on your Mac computer. So the first way this is really easy. Now it uses a VM which is a bit slower and uh, it's not very fast. So recently, just about three days ago since the recording of this video, Docker released a new program called Docker for Mac. Now this is a native implementation and it requires a bit of a uh, powerful computer for it to be useful. So make sure you meet the requirements. So you can download it on the website here and the installation is extremely easy. You just have to double click on it and then you know drag this to your application folder and then when that's done you can just straight up call docker uh, for some reason it doesn't show up here but um, I'm just gonna open my applications folder you should see docker inside of here it's like a whale icon it's still in beta so it's actually in open beta right now so you just click on open and this will tell you a known issue for your OS X so read about it and then we can install it. So you, they need privilege permission in order for it to download. So um, 
you need to type in your password because it installs something to your as a root user. So this will take care of all the binaries and installation. Give it a second. And if after a few moments you will notice um, it will it will find so if you have Docker machine installed previously, it will identify this machine installed. So it will try to ask you, do you want to copy the data from your Docker machine into the current, you know, setup? So usually, if you want to keep whatever you had in the previous Docker toolbox um, machine, you know, this migration tool will help you copy everything over. I'm just gonna pick. No and if you uh, look at the screen on the upper right, which I'm trying to get this. Hmm. Um, look at the screen on the upper. If you look at the up screen on the upper right, you'll see a whale icon. So just click on that, and it'll say, you know, Docker is running. So that's how you know you have Docker installed. Now I don't have to open a special terminal window just for Docker. I can just go into any terminal window, and you can verify that it's working by typing Docker v. So, uh, Docker machine v to get the versions. So you have all these programs installed natively on your computer, and it's not running on any virtual machine or anything. So it's really sweet. Um, the latest version of Docker 1.12 comes with orchestration features, which makes um, it's really useful to build services and you know things like similar to. Um, you know, Kubernetes or other orchestration tools. So I'm going to leave it at that for this video. I hope you find it useful and install it to your Mac and let me know what you think about Docker. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.